everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are doing something that actually hasn't been requested from you guys. I kind of just really wanted to do this, so I hope you guys find it fun too because I literally cannot wait. So today we are going to be trying our hand at making these miniature adorable cakes inspired by Korean lunchbox cakes. I've been seeing these so much. Literally my entire Pinterest feed is this. I've been watching so many videos on YouTube, which by the way would probably be better for you to watch like if you're actually interested in an instructional video. I will link some down below of ones that I've watched. Like I'm just going to be trying it. I'm not a baker. I am not I'm not a trained professional. I just want, I'm just gonna have fun. But who knows, maybe it will turn out good. But yeah, if you've never had the blessing to see some of these cakes, I will flash some up on the screen. They are so, so adorable. Like I'm sure they taste amazing, but honestly, I'm more obsessed with the way that they look. They are so cute, so colorful, so pastel. I'm nervous because I have like high expectations, but I also have like limited talent, so. We'll see how it goes. As you can probably see, I did dress up. I got a bow in my hair and a dress on. I actually have sweatpants and Skechers on, so <laughs> hopefully you don't see that though. But okay, I think without further ado, let's get into trying to make some of these cakes. Hopefully they look good. We'll see, let's go. Okay, so I'm probably gonna start with doing like the cardinal sin of all baking, but I'm actually gonna make a box cake. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'm just more excited about the decorating than the cake, so I kind of just need a cake. This will work, and I mean, I love rainbow bit, and I feel like that would be really hard to make. Sorry, I know you're booing. I'm sorry. It's just what we're gonna do. I like cake boxes, okay? I think they taste good. They're probably better than what I would make from scratch. But yeah, so here's the cake that I'm using. It's the Betty Crocker Rainbow Bit Super Moist. So if anyone's interested, okay. They're probably not. Uh, yeah, again, I'll link videos down below that have people who actually are good at baking and they will give you homemade recipes that will probably be better. Oh my goodness, I should probably start the oven. I can't just throw this stuff around. Now I'm actually having a food sensitivity test tomorrow and I almost think I'm going to have to be lactose free, gluten free and possibly egg free. Okay, I have all my ingredients here. I'm like literally shaking, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm excited or because I'm nervous, but okay, first things first, the cake mix. My goal is to hopefully make three little cakes. I don't exactly know the plan. I just know I really like the cloud one. And then I really like when they say something in two layers of icing. Clearly I have almost no guidelines. Okay, I'm gonna mix that all up. I literally almost forgot a super important part, water. I almost forgot it. Oh my gosh, I need to stay on my toes. Baking is not my element. I want it to be. Like I really, really have been obsessing over like homemade pasta and like homemade breads and things like that. So I'd like to get better at cooking. Practice does make perfect or at least close to or at least better than before. in the colors I love it now I'm a chocolate cake type of person but honestly a rainbow bit cake is the funnest to look at in my opinion that's why I gravitate towards it plus with all these cute exteriors you got to cut in and have something cute on the inside my carpal tunnels flaring up time to stop whisking whisking mixing mixing okay now assembling the cake pans so I have this pan here and I went ahead and I had actually this little tin I don't know where this came from so I didn't know I had that so I had bought these mini spring form pan set for reference in case you're using this video as an instructional video they're about four inch tins and so I was planning on just setting them on here like this. Now you don't need these little tins. A lot of the videos I saw will just pour the pancake mix. Oh my goodness, it's not pancake mix. They'll pour the cake mix just into this pan here and then they'll have like a little cookie cutter and cut out the layers and put it in and then it's a cake. But since I did order these, I'm gonna use them. I feel like I should probably wash these because I haven't washed them yet. Okay, clean. Okay, I have a little bit of oil in here. So I'm just going to 
put this around the tins because the worst thing that could happen, well, not the worst thing in life, but like the worst thing right now for the cakes would be is if I stuck everything to the pan. So then when I went to release and like pull it out, it just broke into a bunch of pieces. The oven's ready. Did see this thing on TikTok about this on how to do this perfectly, but I'm now forgetting what it was. I could just take one of the bottom bits and just cut it out. Would that be worth it? I don't even know. I feel like this isn't necessary at all. Why am I doing this? Why aren't I stopping doing this? Sure, that's that was a good idea. Actually, why don't we test if it's necessary? I'll only do it on two. And if those ones come out good, then we'll know that was something you should probably do. There we go. <laughs> Who said this wasn't gonna be instructional? Oh, that was me? Okay, time to scoop the cake mix into the little tins. So I'm not gonna fill it up all the way to the top because that has served me badly in the past. I guess we didn't need this big tin. Good thing I oiled it up for no reason. When I watch pastry shows, they often will like to get the air bubbles. I really don't think it's necessary right now, but it doesn't hurt. So we have them all ready to go. Let's put them in the oven. <laughs> I'm so excited. Middle rack. Oh my gosh, I almost just dropped them all. Okay. <laughs> So 14 minutes, which still feels kind of long, but I'll start a timer and we'll check on them and we'll make some icing now. Now this is actually funny because I remember so well times as a child where I was trying to make icing with icing sugar and it would go so bad, so bad that it wouldn't even taste good. Like how do you make sugar, butter, and milk taste bad? I don't know. I didn't know it was possible, but I did it many times. So I just Googled a recipe and I have like three of the key ingredients. So I can already tell this is gonna go bad. So I have these, worst case scenario. We can just use pre-made icing, but I'm hopeful that I can actually make some. Let us see what we can do. I'm gonna just eyeball it. I'm throwing away my recipe. So maybe this is like an icing you could make from things that are in your pantry. You know, it's not about the journey or maybe it is a little bit about the journey. Oh, should I be melting this? <gasps> oh, <laughs> the butter attacked me. It was like, please don't, please don't do this. Sorry, butter. For flavor and smell. Mm. Now I'm gonna take this, which will probably blow this powdered sugar all over the place, but I think it's a good idea for my carpal tunnel and for the dish. I'm gonna start low speed. Oh my gosh, that's so fast. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, the consist, oh my gosh, the timer. Let's see. Oh my goodness, they don't look ready at all. They don't look ready at all. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit more powdered sugar because this actually looks really, really terrible. Like it looks like spoiled milk. I'm having flashbacks to when I was a child and I would use all of our powdered sugar and I would still have no icing. This is literally exactly what I did as a kid. Like I have not leveled up at all. It's too thick. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. It's not even folding really. Ooh, I feel like it's decent though. <laughs> to go back on everything I just said about it not being good, I feel like it's okay. I don't know what to think of this because it's not too bad of a consistency. I don't think it's even close to like a buttercream frosting. And I definitely filled my lungs with icing sugar, which is probably not good for you. Let me try it. Not awful. Not a resounding review though. So I'm gonna cover this icing. We'll see how it works tomorrow. I'm gonna refrigerate this and also the backup icings because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need them. But I will see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, it is the next day. Another cute outfit on the top, but then sweatpants and Skechers on the bottom. The cakes are completely cooled. And I'm having like a moment because I just really don't wanna mess it up, especially now that it actually came out decent. It's like the stakes are higher, you know? So I just wanna get these out without ruining them. Oh, that one actually popped right off its stand. Okay, good. 
I wonder if this one will pop off. They still look really moist, which is interesting because I literally had them in the fridge. Oh, I think the ones, oh, the ones with the parchment are coming out really easily. Oh, okay. Maybe that was worth doing. This one's gonna give us a bit of trouble, I think. I'm a little concerned. Oh my gosh, is it okay? Oh my goodness, okay. We've got our four cakes. A little crumbly, but not bad. Okay, so I have four cakes, but my goal is to make three. So we have some wiggle room. I'm going to try, see, I'm trying to figure out, should I cut them into layers and make them a little bit taller? I don't know. I'm like really at a loss right now. I don't know what to do. I have like some cool little tools. Um, this little thing, which like you use to spin, but then this, I guess, can cut layers in your cake. I'm going to try and take this one because as you can see, it's a little bit like round on the top. I'd like to even that out. Now, I've never done this before. Ugh. Should I really be using the best one? Like this is my best cake. Trying to make it level. How'd that go? Oh. <gasps> Not bad. Okay, not bad at all, actually. Okay, I might cut this one, a little piece of this one off. Basically just putting together some cakes. Okay, so now, say we were gonna do this. It's a little uneven. It's a little uneven. And the cake is so sticky. I feel like we could make that work. And I feel like that's tall enough as well. Like we could make that work. Oh yeah, okay. Is it bad to just use a butter knife? Maybe. This will be one. <laughs> Is it too tall? Okay, let's cut the tops off the rest of them and just put them together. All right, our three cakes. And now we have all this extra cake. I can taste it. Oh my goodness, it tastes really good. When you see a layered cake normally, there's usually like even layers, but of course, what were you expecting? Of course I can't do an even layer. So I think now we gotta do icing. I don't know how this happened, but magically overnight, my icing turned into a giant tub of buttercream icing. It had nothing to do with me going to a bakery and asking if I could buy a pound of icing. It had nothing to do with that. It just happened overnight. It was magic. Okay, no, but for real, I was looking at my icing the other day and I was getting seriously worried that this was going to ruin the whole thing. And I honestly think it would have, but I bought this huge tub of icing. And seriously, when I bought this, I literally ate so much icing. It was ridiculous. I can hardly even look at it. It's so good. But there is a lot of this, so I'm gonna take a second and just make all of the colors I need. I have a few inspiration pictures I'll put on the screen right now. Those are what I'm inspired by, so I have to make quite a few different colors. So I'll do that right now. Okay, how many colors do I need to make? I feel like I need a piece of paper. Like, how am I gonna keep this sorted? I definitely need a lavender and a white, which we already have, blue, and then I'm thinking a yellow and a pink. Yeah. Okay, so for the lavender, oh my gosh, this icing, look at the consistency. How do you make this icing? It's so fluffy and so beautiful and it just holds its shape so nicely. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And it tastes so good. It's ridiculous. I actually didn't really know you could go to just bakeries and ask them if they have frosting, but sure enough, you can. And normally, if they don't have it, they can make it. And that's really nice. So. Okay, lots of food coloring here. So I'm going to make the pink, oh, I have a purple, wow, okay. Purple was this one, one of these, okay. This is when I start fearing for my new turtleneck because I really don't wanna get food coloring on my turtleneck. This is very potent, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. 
to start. Now the key with these is to try and make pastels. Well, I guess you can make whatever color you want, but I wanna go for like a pastel color. Okay, that's pretty cute. One dot to start with. This is seriously a lot of work. Like, you gotta have muscles for this. Okay, little yellow moment. I don't want this to be orange, I want it to be yellow. Oh my gosh, I love that color! That is so pretty, oh my goodness. Oh, my arm. All right, lastly, blue for the clouds. Okay, but without further ado, I want to try icing a cake. Initially, I was gonna put my icing in the center, but now I'm kind of like, I don't know. The icing that I made is so much worse than the icing I bought. Maybe I should just put that in the center, you know? I also bought these really cute parchment sheets to set them into the little boxes. So I'm going to actually ice them on here with the hope that I'll just be able to pick it right up. Oh my goodness, I'm eating through the whole thing. Okay, hopeful that I could just pick it up once it's iced. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know if that's a good idea though. I really don't know, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the icing that I bought and then pop the top off and just put that on the inside. This is the first time I think I've ever made a layered cake. So this is exciting stuff. <laughs> I'm nervous though. I just wanna get it all like Thinner. Pop the top on, just like that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, what? Okay, let's start with purple. I've been watching lots of baking videos, so let's see. Oh my goodness, it's flying around too much. Gotta get this parchment off. Bad idea, you'll come in later. I'm just gonna start on the top. <laughs> I'm so nervous, okay. Oh my goodness, is this gonna go okay? If there's anyone watching who is like a baker or just loves baking, it's like their hobby and they have any pointers, please do not hesitate to leave some down below. Okay, it's pretty well covered. So now I'm gonna try and just even it out a little bit. I already feel like it's pretty cute, but the ones I've seen, it's just like they make it so smooth and so soft on the top. Like this is already worlds better than the cakes I normally make. So I'm pretty happy, but you know, I've got high expectations for myself. Okay, I'm gonna try and use this. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I would try and use this tool, but. Oh my goodness, this is actually really helpful, I think. I feel like that's not too bad. Like, I feel like that's really not too bad. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on just because I need some fresh icing up top. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. That looks pretty smooth. That thing, I don't know what this is, but I got it on a baking kit and it works pretty well. How do you pick this up? <laughs> How are you honestly supposed to be able to pick this up? Have you ever seen someone fill a piping bag worse? I'm gonna do a test run on this extra cake. Let's just see. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like the consistency of the frosting is just making everything way easier, to be honest. Okay. Get a wide stance going. I love it. 
Oh, I just put my hand right on my mic. <laughs> that looks so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna try and lift it. Oh my goodness, now I love it so much, I do not wanna wreck it. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes! Yes! This is the most beautiful thing I've ever done in my entire life. And like, I cherish it so much, I don't wanna wreck it. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the fridge until we ice the top. Next one makes me nervous okay i'm gonna do the tall one very nice and tall and super uneven but you know what that's just that's just how my cakes are okay I'm trying to figure out if i should do the blue one now or the yellow one it really doesn't make any difference i guess i'll just do the blue now let's see if i learned anything from my first go big blob on the top work it down <laughs> my cake is flying all over the place and then start to drag it Now this, my literal favorite thing. Okay, for the blue cake, I wanna do kind of like a cloud inspired thing. So I'm going to fill a bag with white. Now, do I have more piping bags? Did I just get one? That would be a bad idea now, wouldn't it? Oh, no, I got some. Reusable piping bag kit, 24 pieces. Look who was thinking. Okay, now this is actually funny. <laughs> so funny. Um, I'm actually gonna use the same piping bag tip as the last one, but I promise I won't use the same tip the whole time. It's just, I want this one to be like a puffy cloud. This is honestly so much fun. I can't even describe it, you guys. <gasps> so fun. Oh, baking is like the underrated workout. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Like it really holds its shape so well. So cute, oh my goodness. I love that it's like 3D. <laughs> and this wasn't my idea. Like this was inspired by a different cake I saw. Again, I'm going to try to move this. Oh, this is so stressful. This is definitely the tool for that with like the angle. This one's a little bit harder because it's flat, but I just gotta make it work because I only have one. Oh, okay, we've got a little bit of issues going on on the bottom here. That's okay. That's okay, everyone. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Baker is here. Me. Oh my goodness, this is gonna finish it off so cute. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I have to freak out when things go well because it's just like, I have high expectations, but I also am very like real about the fact that I usually mess things up. So this is really, really good to hear. You slide it off and set it in the fridge. <gasps> don't stress, don't stress, don't stress. Okay. They look so cute together. This is the last one. And this is arguably definitely the most broken cake. I hope you guys are liking this video because I would love to do more baking videos like this because this is so much fun. Now this cake is gonna take a lot of leveling, lots of work. We have lots of yellow, so hopefully we can do this. Cute. Okay, might have to make like another cake just to use up all of this icing. Oh my goodness. 
I don't think I'm gonna be as good at this one. Oh my gosh, okay. Not my best work, but like that's pretty cute. Now this is a different type of parchment. It's got like flowers on it. I think this is gonna be adorable. Slow and steady wins the race. And why am I going so fast? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Every time I open the fridge, hit with a cuteness overload. We're gonna decorate. This is usually where my too much jean comes out, so I'm gonna try not to do that. But we'll start with the purple because it's been in here the longest. Looking literally so cute. Can't even believe how small this little spot is for like writing things. I don't know what to write in here because I was gonna write like, happy birthday, but it's way too small for that. I've seen people write hello. That's kind of fun. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do that. Grab the icing bags. I put the pink into an icing bag as well. So what I want to do for this one is I want to have 3D. So white and then pink on top. This is the great part about these bags where you can just change the tip. That's like so convenient. Now this is going to be so stressful because I literally get one shot at this. How am I gonna put two layers on there? Like that is so thick already. Oh my goodness, I think this is a thicker tip. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get low. <laughs> Do I like that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I feel like I would like it after I put some sprinkles on. I have like some rainbow sprinkles that I feel like would look pretty cute actually. My goodness, I need like a tweezer or something to put these on here. Like it is that serious. Okay, let's put these on here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of icing on the bottom. This one looks pretty cute. Not amazing, but like it's cute, right? Oh, I feel like it's missing a sprinkle. Much better. This one is done and it is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one I feel like doesn't need a lot of frosting, but I feel like we could do something fun with it, you know, because I have like these little pearls, which might be kind of cute. I don't know. If I had white sprinkles, oh, would I do something with those? Oh, I have white sprinkles. All right, well, now I gotta pull up. See, like, would it be cute to have these big sprinkles in here? Maybe. They look almost like fun, fine dust all over. Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's snow. I don't know, it's just glitz and glam, okay? Oh my goodness, this one's so cute. Okay, this one's done. This one didn't take much. Okay, this yellow one, kind of gonna have the most to do with it. Firstly, I'm gonna add around the edges, just like another ring. I had an idea to write something on this one, but now I'm like, is that what I wanna do? Okay, my main camera cut out. I literally have no idea when because I was just like so involved with doing this. So I'm thinking about, I'm not even thinking about it, I'm just doing it. Like doing like a, a paint swatch. That looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Right? Tell me it does. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do with this one. Like, is this enough? I feel like I have to write something on it. I'll write something in pink in big letters. This is how you know you've been doing this too long. When you write yay on a cake. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't know, okay? I'm gonna clean everything up and then we're going to put them into the boxes and that should be it. I'm so excited. Okay, the cakes are out. I think they're doing really good. Like I love the way they look. I don't know which one's my favorite. I feel like the purple one is my favorite right now. 
least, actually it's in order, favorite, middle, least, but they're all cute. But anyway, I got these boxes. These are like bento boxes, which is what I've seen most people put their cakes in. And I just think it looks so adorable and it really makes it like a lunchbox cake. When I sized them up initially, I thought this was gonna fit, but like now, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to close them. So <laughs> let's just set them in here. Gonna just pop it in. I needed bigger boxes for sure. I'm just squishing them in. These are heavy cakes, like, oh my goodness. They don't fit at all in their boxes, but the idea is there. Oh my goodness, they are so adorable. Take a look. Okay, you guys, this was probably the most time and effort I've ever put into a cake before. And like, it shows. These are so cute, so adorable. I'm so happy that I was able to try this out. I've seen so many pictures and I've just been so inspired. They are absolutely adorable, so cute. They make me happy when I look at them. And usually that's how I judge if something's good or not. I'm like, if it makes me happy when I see it, I think it's good. And these really do that. Like they're so cute. I don't I don't even want to bite into one. Like I'm a little bit protective of them. They're like art. I don't want to wreck them. I really don't. So I'm not going to. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know I don't do a lot of like baking or cooking videos on my channel, but I hope you still thought this was fun. And if you want to see more, make sure to let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!